Hi, and welcome to Old School Rhythm and Blues Guitar. It is time for the classic R&B guitar lick lesson for the months of July through September 2018. And this time around, we're going to take a look at a couple of fill licks that you hear played on Louis Jordan's spectacular Saturday Night Fish Fry from the late 1940s, I, th I believe. And I'm not sure who was playing guitar on this. If I had to bet on it without looking it up, I would say it was uh, Bill Jennings. But I could be wrong. But anyway, in that song, which is in the key of B flat, you hear two guitar fills played in between the, the chorus verses. The verses every time they go into the bridge or the chorus. And you hear something like this. This is the first one. You hear it played three times. It was rocking, dun, dun, and like that. But anyway, here we are in B flat. And what we're doing basically is playing this chord, which is a E flat seventh chord. Played on the third, second, and first strings. So if you make an E flat double stop with my second finger on the 11th fret of the second string and my ring finger on the 12th fret of the third string, and then take my pinky, or my first finger, and put it on the ninth fret of the first string. We've got this chord. And so what I think he's doing is playing it like this on the first and second strings with my first finger on the ninth fret of the first string and my second finger bent and playing the eleventh fret of the second string. So that fill you hear goes like this. So he's playing that twice. And then putting the third finger down on the 12th fret of the third string and picking both the third and the second string. It sounds to me like a downstroke, so something like this. Maybe he's just playing one string. But I'm pretty sure that's what I hear. I've tried to play this in other parts of the knack and that's what I get every time. So he's just, I don't think he's sliding into it. I don't hear a slide. I just hear him holding those two fingers there. Playing that. See what you think. Listen to the original recording. Really cool lick. And that chord shape you hear uh, in blues guitar, you hear Earl Hooker. He used this a lot. And the famous solo for Bill Doggett's Honky Tonk. The second, when he plays over the four on that, on that great solo, he uses that chord shape. And we'll get into that. We'll learn that solo eventually on this channel. But anyway, that is the first fill. And every time they go into that chorus, or the, the chorus part, you're going to hear that. Played three times. And now, when he's done with that, right before they go into the verse, or back to the, the next verse, you hear something like this. And this... I have no idea if this is what's being played or not. And again, I've experimented with this a million different ways, and I can't get it to sound like what I hear on the record except by doing it this way. So here's a B-flat, first position. What I'm doing is putting my first finger on the sixth fret of the second string. And then I'm taking my pinky, this is quite a stretch, to the ninth fret, and then sliding it, trying to keep that first finger anchored. Sliding the pinky, picking the third and the second strings. I'm using a downstroke. And I'm picking, sliding that pinky from the ninth to the tenth fret. Four times. One, two, three, four. So this is what you hear on the tune. So they get to the, the chorus part. You got this. Dun, 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 dun. Something pretty close to that. And that last one, he lets it, lets it hang there. Really cool stuff. And I don't know if that's what he's doing on that. That is a monster stretch. But I can't think of any way else to get it to sound like what I hear on the recording. I tried things like playing a seventh. That's not it. Tried other things. That's, that's what I keep coming back to. If you know... Or if you think you know, let me know. <laughs>
that's part of why I do these lessons is I, I try to teach songs or go through songs rather that there's parts that maybe I'm not sure of. Hopefully someone else out there has figured it out or can figure it out. So when you hear the tune Saturday Night Fish Fry by Lewis Jordan, you hear those, those two licks used as fills every single time they do a chorus, and I've always enjoyed those licks. So you're using that 7th chord, E flat 7th shape, then he's going to this lick which is out of B flat, and again that's hard to play and I think that's what he's doing. Takes some practice to play that cleanly. So those are my featured licks, actually got two licks instead of one for the months of July through September 2018. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. And again, if you have any ideas, you know, any opinions on what's being played on, on any of the tunes that I, I try to teach parts of, make sure you let me know. I'll be back again before the new year with another really cool lick from some R&B song from the 40s all the way up through the 60s. See you then.